Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Bower Gaming. Today I am playing the first DFL, and we run into our friend Hamsick here again. Very cool. Hello again. Looks like this guy be a regular on this series. All right. Oh, if you enjoy this content, please hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more Steel Division 2 content. And so we can get more people into this game. Because the more of you subscribe, the more this gets pushed up to other people, more people see it, and the more people play this game. Which is sick. I absolutely hate this map. Hate it. Why? Because it's just dumb. You can't capture the, the red automatically gets this one. Blue, like, kind of auto gets this one. It's just dumb. I just don't like this map. And it's especially not good. There's a lot of open ground for you. Like, a couple heavy tanks would be nice here. I got none. He is playing what? Group Bazuglo. Bazlugo. I do not know this division very well. I think it has IS-2s. Which would really suck. And we're both on Maverick again. Ugh, I didn't want us both to be on Maverick. Oh, God. All right, let's see what would be useful here. Oh, that would be fun. All right, let's use my 2,000 meter support gun here. I usually start with infantry, but that's cool. It's cool. It's all good. It's all good. Let's get this bro here. All right, let's see what I got. Uh, quick disclaimer, I do not play a lot of allies, so this definitely... It, I, I don't remember the last time I played the first DFL. I, I really don't. These are just not my uh, go-to choices. Now, the issue is he is playing a Soviet division. And whenever you play a Soviet division, you have to re remember that they get, like, ultra-fast transports at the beginning of the game. So it's very, 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 very likely he is going to beat me hardcore to the front line and, like, can PTRS rush me and stuff. So I got to be ready for that. I definitely need to be ready for that. I'm going to send two of these, like, close-range submachine gun-ish people here and here. Let's grab that. Uh, Infantry-wise, some more closest range dudes. Now, unfortunately, these guys are all pretty slow. So it's going to be rough. Uh, let's get a machine gun down here. He's definitely playing an odd faction, which is cool. Good for, I mean, not faction, uh, division, which is cool. Good for him. It is fun to play weird divisions. I'll be honest, at this point in the game, uh, Soviets are definitely very weak, comparatively speaking, to most, um, compared to most divisions. Alright, so anyway, sorry, what I was thinking, close range units here to try to push to this flag. We got this machine gun here to help cover off this area, although I have doubts of the effectiveness of how effective that will be. So I'm going to send two other infantry here. One being the bimp guy, so that, uh, basically so so that if he sends any sort of armor, I, I can kind of kill it. And then I'm going to send my uh, Mukiosards, oh my god, I'm sorry. Move those guys into the closer range stuff. Then here, I'm going to kind of send a mix of just really strong units. Because I want to get this and hold it. This is kind of like a very easy free-ish. It's not free, but it's free-ish kind of location to grab. Then I'm going to use my really fast M8 to get up here fast. And then hopefully I'll be able to uh, basically punish any units that try to move through. I'm going to put an AT gun in that position there. 57 millimeter cannon. I think I called another one and didn't actually position it anywhere. I just realized. So, that definitely got to go fix that. Yeah, I did. There it is. I could call another howitzer here. That'd probably be pretty good, actually. Let's do that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, then we need some of the really strong these guys. Some really strong these guys. A bimp. And want to use... Cool. No, no, I do want him. There we go. Cool. 
and we are just going to full on this area here. And you know what? We're also going to call in a leader. Get that leader in there. And then we need some recon. I'm hoping I can try to effectively use my light my light armor here. Again, I just I don't remember what's in his deck at all, which is bad cuz I have no idea what I'm going up against here. Like this could be this could be an an outrageous disaster, I'm not sure. But I want to try to use my M8s, which are really fast, to get to the front line here to give me a fighting chance of stopping, you know, any sort of like super fast rush sort of strategy he has. I want to find a spot where I can see down that road. Ah, uh, poop. Click the wrong button. There we go. See down that road. And I have one more thing here. Oh, how cray cray do we get? Hmm. I didn't like I'd like to put a machine gun in there when possible. I didn't. Alright, we'll just do this. Uh to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the first DFL. I they're very good, which is obviously why I'm playing them. So you can see how to play these guys, but me personally I'm not a huge not a huge fan. It, it does not crack my list of favorite divisions. If you don't know my favorite divisions, go watch that video. I do have a, a list of like 10 of my favorite divisions. And those are just totally my personal favorite divisions. Good luck. Have fun. Oh, I did forget this. Oh, well. Truthfully, it's not that useful at the beginning of the game. Like, it's not one of these I would call in early. Like, to stray for anything. 20 millimeter cannons don't do a whole lot anymore. At some points in the game, fighters strafing the ground was like stupid effective. Now it's not really, and it shouldn't be. I, I'm not. I'm not complaining that it's not anymore. I don't really think it should be. All right, mates, go do your worst. Actually, I'd prefer you go do your best, which would be kill a lot of stuff. Hopefully some triple vet infantry here can help grab this. Problem is the flag's actually like out in the middle of everything, so you can't just like push infantry and like stand next to it. You kind of have to like grab around here, but then they can push in, so you want to... It's really tough, but if you can get far enough forward... There we go. There we go. Come on. Bring it on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? What? Ah. Oh. Boogers. Alright, well, good news. He didn't just like rush me. Unload, unload. My M8 survived. Driver killed. Sadness. Uh-oh. Not good. There's that rush I was talking about. Ah! Wow, that's really bad. Of course he killed the best freaking stuff. Oh, bad. Like, so bad. So flipping bad. I don't actually really want this fight. Let's back up. I have a I have a anti tank gun right here that can do a crap ton of damage to them if I can. Crap! Come on. No. That's a bummer. Actually, let's get this char, which is actually just a tank destroyer, as I mentioned before. Oh. Well, let's get another one. I do like that position. Uh, let's get a bimp, because they do have a fair bit of armor. I am not uh, micromanaging my plane well. Wow. It's not going well. Unfortunately, he's out of his 20 mil, so I'm hoping the machine gun can do it. The machine gun didn't do it. Oh, now I see why that thing's only 80 points. That makes way more sense. Oh. Well, this is going awful. Well. 
couldn't have gone much more poorly at the beginning here. Yeah, he's probably just gonna kill me. Uh, trying to decide here how to uh, close this big bulge she's got I've got going on. That's not what I want my that's not what the bimps are there for. The bimps are to kill them stinking uh goodbye. Uh whatever you call it, the uh what did I just see there a moment ago? The uh tanks. This is very bad. I I just I hate this freaking map so much. I don't like the way it's set up. I hate when you get pushed out of stuff. It's basically impossible to get back into it. I find it to be a very frustrating map. 13-11 to him, though, right now. Let's see if we can't pull this back. I hate this map so much. goes. Let's get a cannon. He's getting kind of aggressive with his uh, with his tanks there. So calling him and a bimp. I gotta try to stop this from totally happening. Is this guy not in the freaking woods? That'd be amazing if he actually hit. I don't think he's going to. I'm pretty sure the heat shells have a horrible aim. Every angle, my poor Stuarts. Let's see if my Bim can get him. Oh, he missed, like I said. There's one. Get the other. Love it. Still lost my tank. Sadness. Crushing sadness. Let's push forward, see if we can surrender this guy. That'd be sweet. Uh, let's call in another one of these. Did I kill it? I don't think I did. Oh, there goes my char. So, he's got a PTRS there or something. Would be my assumption of what is going on there. Where is it? Bye-bye. He's being a little loose with his armor here. He's got it sitting out a lot of places. I really don't want to lose any of my air stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's just a general thing. Who wants to? This is this is getting obnoxious. Uh, of course, I used up all my currently. All right, kept my P47s alive. Good enough for now. Let's go here. Cause I'm getting a bad feeling over there. I have a feeling he's got some stuff, stuff there. Let's get a Bofors. Let's try to uh, shut this down a little bit. Uh, 
And we're going to call our last Legionati here, along with another one of these. Some of these, some of those, to getting close. Ah, now I see. Is he really going to kill this? Well, at least I can kill this thing now. Oh, of course. Alright, now I can finally actually bring my support stuff in now that he's going to kill that. Oh, you booger. Really? There we go. Aha. It's mine now. Alright, killed that. So we're done with, with that annoyance. Oh, well, that's good. Recaptured this. That's delightful. I can finally get this machine gun in here that I've wanted the whole game. Alright, close that hole up. Calling a bimp here. He seems to have slowed down a little. Two on one. Hoping I can grab it. He's definitely doing something funky down here. Alright, we re-grabbed this, so that's good. Finally ticking him down. Pushing aggressively, because I know most of his infantry have uh, PTRSs. So I can be a little bit more aggressive in my armor, because his... As much as I love PTRSs, they're not, like, really that good at the end of the day. Alright, so that PTRS is going to be an issue. Let's call in some of these dudes and some of these here. Along with a bimp in case what's sitting there is a tank. Oh, uh, I don't want this. I don't want this fight. Ah, oh, boogers. Something about France. Oh, this is the one with the couple of... Uh, yeah. This is the division with a couple... Uh, what do you, what you call them? Uh, German heavy tanks. Yeah, that's what this one is. It's a weird division. It's definitely a strange division. But presents a number of issues. That I definitely need to figure out how to deal with. Could get a Hellcat to try to kill some of this armor. I saw an SU-122 wandering about over here. Yep, brought it back to a 12-12. I did not really plan to go deep. So, I definitely don't really have the weaponry to go deep here. Alright, so that's bad. Let's call in two Legionary. I really gotta, like, actually get that zone over there. I'm also gonna call in this Recon dude. This is good. Or, every armor piece I can take out is a major plus. Anti-tank wise, let's call in one of these. None of my tanks reach out to 17 to 2,000. So that means his SU-122, the one that had 2,000 meter range just now, that's a real danger to me. I just need to keep that in mind. I can't be I can't be ignorant of the fact that he can out range me tank wise. Quick, get in there, get in there fast. I think he'll stop him. This is unfortunate. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's call them some of these because I actually think they'll do okay. I do have a Spitfire to actually like stop this annoyance. That's bad. That is unfortunate. Let's call one of these, see if I can sneak it kind of behind their lines a little bit. Got to try to make better use of my light tanks here. You got one point advantage right now. 
put him on return fire so he doesn't uh, just like reveal his position to something stupid somehow. Just got a T7. I know there was an SU-122 that drove over there at some point. Alright, double legionary. I have to be aware that he could sneak guys behind me. That's definitely a danger. Artillery wise. Just keep calling it. Let's get let's build up an air force a little bit here. I'm gonna move this bimp over here so that I can kill that tiger. Kill the dude with the anti-tank weapons. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Go that way. Killing a tiger with that would be cool. Let's see if he's paying attention. He's not. He's too busy trying to get that howitzer. There we go. That Spitfire is staying incredibly tight to that thing. Is he just clicking it around in a circle? I've never seen a, a, I have never seen a fighter auto stick to a dude so well. Like seriously, that was crazy. Something is standing there and for some reason I cannot see it. It's kind of annoying actually. He's got that light, those, I mentioned them in a, a oh, got a little aggressive. I deserve that, a little aggressive. Yeah, you better run, Tiger. Alright, that's enough of this. Ridiculous. Kill him. I don't understand what's there that's stopping me from capturing that. Maybe I just need to move something up there. Once again, the issue being I don't have any heavier, like, long-range anti-armor stuff. I'm so glad he ran out in the middle of everything to do this. Strafniki there definitely can be dangerous. Buggers. Let's get another bow first here. Let's call in some mortars, see if we can't do some damage with them. There's definitely someone here, obviously. Try to keep this guy alive. One bim one guy can hold a bazooka. Oh, that's dangerous. If I can a mortar there and kill that, that would be absolutely phenomenal. I, I see what you're doing. Yep, let's kill those. These dudes are actually quite dangerous. Honestly, they can help you win all kinds of fights. Let's go over here, actually. Uh, let's call in... There it is. Let's call another bimp, expecting him to push in after his little strike here. I'm gonna see if I can sneak a dude in there, so like if, uh... You know, once I lose that, he'll think, okay, it's clear. Until it's not. Let's fall back. It's all good. Not the end of the world or anything. What? Why didn't you shoot? Oh my god. I hate when it does crap like that. It auto re-aimed at the other one, basically giving up all the aiming it had already done. That's really annoying. 
Doing a well-supported push here. That's very nice, very nice. Unload. Unload, unload. Now, I want to see if I can catch any of his, uh, whatchamacallits out, uh, his AA. Let's see if I can catch some of his AA out. See if I can't kill some of it with my mortars. And then I can start trying to more heavily leverage my really strong, uh, my really strong air force. Wow, bugger. Bad, 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 bad. Easily preventable. Let's go stop some of that. Alright, so we recaptured that. That's cool. Is he in that 1750 meter range? Yeah, let's go get him. Alright, there's that. Let's go. Can you reach him? No. Go after him. Let's get a Sherman in here. This is where they, like, excel. This is their place. This is their place to be. Alright, there's that. Very cool. And now we're both down to nothing. Do it again. Do it again. Call in some more bimps. Bimpy bimp 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 bimps. If you're telling me two tank destroyer tanks can't kill his one lame artillery technically tank destroyer tank, I'm gonna be super annoyed. Alright, let's try to go get this one. He's got quite a little force going here. Let's punish him for that. There we go. Oh, he hit a Panzer Shrek in there, and somehow that did not pin him down. Are you serious? That's all right. There we go. Sick. That's definitely a big kill here. I love this thing being here, so I'm going to call another one in. As I've mentioned before, if something is working, let it keep working. I, unless he's got, like, heavy artillery or something to really punish you for it. He doesn't, so it's really not punishing me to do that. Let's see if we can take out this 1-2-2. Two, two. Oop, something's already getting at it. Oh, come on. Boogers. I do think I want a Hellcat, because... He does have a good bit of armor, and it might really help to have something to kill his armor. There we go. Alright, we got that out of the way. It's definitely a plus. And now my shard died. Immediately. He's building up quite a bit of armor over here. I can only hope. There we go. Oh, every one of those that dies is a big plus. Oh, support-wise, what do we got? 
Unload. Let's get some more of this. We're going to call in the Sherman, but over here this time. Ooh, I want to take advantage of this. Bimp, go, go, go. I want to try to move these just in case he decides to like go after him. I figured that would happen. I was trying to move him back. I guess I didn't move him back far enough. This is a large tank force. Definitely an issue. I definitely don't think he has nearly as much, um, whatchamacallit over here though, AA. So I may be able to take advantage of that. Actually, this, this position for this thing is terrible. Huh. Interesting. Clearly thought I had something there that I didn't anymore. Actually, let's call it in there just so it doesn't drive into somewhere stupid. It's just some churnos there. They're not a big deal. Really? Boogers. Did I take out one? Alright, I took out at least one. Alright, now let's see if we can't punish him for using open top vehicles. He really hates that thing. That's why I really like that thing. Fall back, fall back. Crew killed. That's cool. This is another one of those Russian decks that just doesn't have a ton of AA. I think he had that one card of Zen of Zenart, like the 37 mils, and then that's kind of. And now he's calling in those car things. I still have a bunch of infantry, so I, I can definitely last a bit here. Let's get forward. Let's see if we can pressure this a little bit. Spider's not going great. It's not going like horrible. Oh wow. Just all mortars. What is that? I don't even know what that is. I died. Oh my recon tank. Oh well, it happens. I recognize that's a very real possibility when I deploy that in that sort of s spot. Let's see if we can't actually get him, that'd be cool. Let's call another legion out of here to kind of kind of grab that. Where's this going?
All right, let's let's punish him for that. That's a little aggressive. Let's call Char. I think if that tiger is still crew killed, then he is definitely like basically out of uh, tigers. Really? He still got that off? That is obnoxious. He's got a point bleed right now, but we got a long way to go. And again, this lack of like heavy long range anti tank is definitely killing me. I mean, I would love to have some sort of like big 2000 meter like death tank to kill him here. Oh, excuse me, no. I would prefer you didn't. Might as well try to help the cause here. Let's see if we can get him with a Hellcat. Probably won't, but we can at least damage it. Oh, there we go. There's a good hit. Hopefully he doesn't penetrate mine. Alright, get out of there. Goodbye. Alright, good. Now he can help out with that we're gonna go this way this time so that Razvetka can't take advantage of me driving into his line of sight I wish I'd find more points I'd get a thing there to kill that that'd be cool oh my mortar poop and you can see me call trying to call my planes in, in kind of like bunches so that he can't stop it it's very common very effective it's the way, like, when the enemy's got a little bit more of an AA net, that's how you stop it. I love how I'm losing to these SU-76s with my way more expensive anti-tank weapons. It's great. There I go. Yep. No, makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. Unfortunately, none of these dudes have AT. Huh. Let's get a bimp over here. Let's get a... No, no, not that way. Oh, here we go. Run, run, run. Oh, no. A little bit more off map. Boogers. All right. Looks like maybe we finally killed that stuff. I'd love to call in another bomber because they've just been so effective, but... Let's take what we got for the moment. I'm gonna put the Sherman here, try to get him in a position to help. This is not because he's got overwhelming like fire support, so that's not a good fight. You just just get out of it. This is where Sherman shine. Ugh. I was already very weakened, and of course he was definitely going to pierce me at that, uh, at that range. I'm going to see if I can get in here a little bit. I didn't even notice I had another bimp here. Alright, get him in there. Let's go. No, oh, no, no. He is doing a nice job of pushing me out of there. Gonna call in another bimp and another Sherman. Like I said, this is where that's the whole point of Sherman's is that kind of position. The issue being right now that he's definitely got like really overwhelming fire support all over. He's he's dug in well, but on the flip side, he's not actually pushing me. He's got one point advantage, but like not a definite one point advantage. Like it's not like he has fully grabbed and pushed me off or anything. 
This is definitely a tenuous hold at best. No reason to send my guys in when I don't have the advantage. Stay alive, stay alive, boys. Let's call on the Hellcat. Let's call another one of these. Because my uh, my tank's about to run out of ammo. So he won't be helping me out anymore. Not sure what he's doing with this. I, I'm pretty sure he used. Uh, he may have, maybe he has one more charge left. I'm not sure. Can't be sure about my dis my call there. Is it entirely possible too? He's running out of tanks. I have seen a good number. Now you do get a crap ton of T-34s though. He did land a hit. Uh, okay. Wow, my guy's missing too. That's disappointing. I really need this char to not die. It died. Go bomb this. Kind of tired of that. Ah. Uh, no chance. I could try. I mean, I got one, more, two more mortars there. I could definitely try to call in. Might have been a little aggressive. Ah, uh, so he had one more, one more, one more charge out of that. That's unfortunate. I'd like another howitzer for the, uh, for the ridge here. He's using his off map effectively, obnoxiously, but effectively. That, that, that's how you use off map, obnoxiously. All right, let's see here. This is a sort of suicide run. I realize that, but I can't really just let him have that. Now the thing is, once he pushes far enough forward with his, like, troops he'll be out of um he'll end up leaving his aa cover which will then allow me to do this and kind of uh retake advantage of my air power which i definitely need no my bow furs gill it uh, sometimes you just can't catch a break. Nope. Let's call another legionary here. We're definitely, uh, kind of pushing them back a bit. So that's cool. Let's get another howitzer for this ridge, because we know how much he loves those. Calling in the Shrafniki by the dozen. Shrafniki are fantastic. And this is definitely, uh, this is how you play this division. You gotta take advantage of your really strong air power. You know. Ah, uh, still can't get that kill. I'm lucky he actually missed. And I was actually able to kill him. Lost my bow first. That's okay. I kinda, kinda to be expected at this point. What do I have airwise? Still got another bomber to call in. I probably will. 
Because like I said, they've just, they, they've made the difference. The tanks have made the dream work. Still got plenty of quality infantry to counter his, uh, his quality infantry. Strafniki are definitely quality infantry. I'm gonna wait for that next tick to call in that second Hellcat, cause that- Oh, he missed! Wow! I do not see Panda Shrek's miss very often. That was rare. That was incredibly strange. That was- I'm, like, actually in shock right now. Cause Panda Shrek's really don't miss. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say they don't really miss. Gotta stay out of his range. Go in the house. I can't- I literally, like, can't get him to click on the house. Something's happening. I can't see it because my tank has no eyeballs. Oh, it's a PTRS squad. Alright. Makes more sense. Boogers. That's alright. I deserve it. I got aggressive with it. I couldn't resist. I could not resist. Oh, and I didn't call the Hellcat. All of that, and I didn't call my Hellcat. Oh, another Panzer Shrek? Are you serious? Oof. Alright, now, hopefully... I can do some damage here. I saw that tank. Let's see if we can't, uh... Get that thing. Oh. That's a big dangerous thing. Uh, so he switched to some longer range AA. Having gotten tired. Now, here's the thing now. Now, I'm gonna call in these. Instead of the Hellcat I was so desperate for. It's alright, he's still got that point bleed, and that's unfortunate, but let's see what we can do here. Got plenty of time. This is why I, I much prefer Balance vs. Maverick, or Maverick, it doesn't matter, I don't care which side I'm on, it's just, the game actually concludes decisively. Otherwise, you do this, and you just have to grind and grind and grind. Hoping at some point someone makes a big boo-boo. I know he's got troops there, so I could call on a P-47. Try to, uh... Liberate him from that area. And he's just using... He, he, uh, he doesn't have heavy artillery, but he's got enough light stuff that it's definitely, like, annoying. Go, go, go. I'd love if he killed that. That'd be cool. I'm still, like, on the prowl for killing his AA. I mean, that is still definitely something I'd like to be able to do. So that's why I'm going to do this. An attempt. I'm going to call in this just for the recon value. We're gonna stop him there, and then we're going to hardcore hit everything that is revealed. I highly doubt I'll get this. I mean, I might even lose my fighter, but the fact is, he doesn't actually have a ton of a. Uh, he doesn't have a ton of planes. I'm not, like, super concerned. Oh, boogers. Do I have? Yeah, I do. Alright, let's see if we can't, uh... Let's actually move this forward so we can kill him. Do that. Oh, I let him. I shouldn't, uh... I know I said I was cool with this thing dying, but it's not like I want him to die. Uh-oh. I'm gonna actually move this. Run like heck, boys. How many of those things did he call in? I know there's the heavy 85 millimeter AA here. I want to try to get it. There it is. Alright. Didn't work. That's okay. 
Not a huge deal. Took the chance and failed. Oh. Finally got calling that other Hellcat. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh oh, scared off my supply truck. That's obnoxious. All right, let's call in this destroyer tank and see if I can't take a shot at this T-34. It's not a good matchup. The whole point of this guy is to kind of like be out of range. Get in there. Let's just call a cheap infantry squad in to see if we can't uh, I misclicked there. I really should not have done that. Fourteen ten. Oh, he finally grabbed this. Interesting. Oh. Oh, of course he cr crew killed me with one shot from that thing. I have so few tanks left. I'm, I'm even going to call this thing in to try to stop it. Well, not stop it. You can repair criticals. You cannot actually repair your tanks, but you can repair criticals on them. Let's see if we can. I, I think those are the, uh, whatever you call them, SU-76s, but that's okay. Oh, did he not drop because I clicked him off? Oh, I thought he had dropped. That's a bummer. That's definitely a major, major bummer. Oh, and if I lose him on top of him, I'm going to be really peeved. Boogers. Oh, I couldn't repair him in time. That's unfortunate. Oh, I can call one of these in, though. That'd be super useful. Let's do that. An airplane. Go get him. Go get him. He's going to kill my machine gun. I know that. Yep. The nice thing is oh, he's going to try to fly me over his AA. There we go. Definitely worth it. That's obnoxious as heck. Those are literally just those light SU-76s just bombing the crap out of me. They're not even very good. I was just trying to stop this from happening. Oh, one shot, really? Alright, well, I stopped that. Mayday, mayday. 
All right, what do we got left here? Let's call in my essentially, oh. I would assume I killed at least one of the, um, whatchamacallits, uh, 40 mils. It'd be great if I could actually kill this thing. That is actually doing a lot of damage to me. Floating a couple points, because I'm not sure where to use them at the moment. I definitely still obviously have infantry left and stuff to use. But I definitely got to make sure I deploy them at a good, worthwhile spot. This is not how I want to use it, to be honest with you. But this is, this is the... This is the lot I've been dealt. Be nice if I could really get on the back of this thing. Oh, that's very bad. This whole side's collapsing. Worth it, kill it. Ah, it would be worth it because I don't really need fighters at this point, and he, his bombers are far more useful than my fighters are. So sacking them for that is worth it. All I have left are leaders. That's a bummer. Oh, I didn't even notice him in this spot here. It's not a huge deal, but at the same time, there's no reason to lose it. What do I have less support wise? Just one of these? Okay. Let's go get him. Hurry, get into a position where you can see. Otherwise, he's going to miss, and I'm going to be very sad. Like for me, he missed that because he couldn't see. Change up these sight lines a little so that tank can't be so active. Let's call in a mass here of some planes, see if we can't maybe even get lucky and kill one of those. That'd be awesome. There's one thin. Worth it. Oh, come on. Oof. Tank wise, all I really got left is this, especially once they kill that thing. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Ugh, back at you. Alright, so. This is an idea of how to play the first DFL, except you should play it better so you win. Uh, you definitely want to leverage your really strong air power to take advantage of that. Uh, if you're going to play balance, you can definitely call in the big boom boom artillery. They have really good artillery. AA is what is what you got, but you notice the Bofors were plenty. You know, they, they, they do the job. AT can be a little lacking. They don't have the 2,000 meter range, like any sort of long range stuff. So you, 
it was pretty even, but I definitely was underneath. Uh, so you can see that, obviously, that's why I lost. Um, we look in here in the kills, P47, lots of damage. Did I was able to... I mean, I leveraged most of my troops. None of them appear to be dying, just dying. Oh, here's a couple. There we go. Here's the poorer half. The poorer half here. Although most of my chars took out at least a T-34. Uh, his PTRS, that early push absolutely destroyed me that he killed that. This did way too much work. Um, he didn't. He wasn't able to really take advantage of those Tigers. That's. I mean, that is the issue with, with heavier tanks. Uh, obviously, his AA did pretty good. His Strafniki are really strong. These SU-76s, they, they just overperform. These are really good. This is sort of like the Martyr 3s for the Axis. Um, you know, light lighter AT guns that can just do a lot of damage and really up fight above their weight class kind of thing. So, there you go. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like and subscribe button and have a fantastic day.